Hi Aries, welcome to another personal reading with me. This is going to be a reading for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising, and other placements, cross watches as well. Thank you so much for clicking, watching, and listening to this video. I am recording this at the very end of June, so for some of you guys, this is going to be a recap for what went on in June, which there was a lot, and then there might even be messages to prepare you for what's unraveling in July. But I would like to bring attention to the fact that we went through Gemini and Cancer season energy in June. The first half of June, basically the 1st to the 21st, was Gemini. That's your third house of truth, communication, logic, reality, um, siblings, short distance travel. And then we had a full moon in Sagittarius, July 3rd. That's another fire sign like you, Aries. I imagine that that did something for you. That's your ninth house of beliefs. There might be some things you no longer believe in over the next six months. And there definitely might be some new truths and new conversation, excuse me, new conversations, throat chakra block, and, um, you know, new ways of thinking between now and the next six months, basically until November. There's a lot going on, Aries. A lot of astrology, a lot of retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Neptune retrograde, full moon, in, or excuse me, new moon in Gemini, the 18th of June. There's a lot. Um, I'll do separate videos eventually, or I'll post on my Instagram and Facebook about some of these energies. But there's a full moon in Capricorn coming July 3rd, which I think is going to be pivotal for you in your 10th house of career. Capricorn is one of the only signs that can kind of check the authority that Aries has. What can compromise who we are? The future. What can compromise our independence and our identity? Perhaps our career or the long term of what lies ahead, right? So there might be some compromise there as far as, you know, your long term goals and stuff like that. But for now, let's harness the tarot's energy. Okay, we have the Emperor card here. I've shuffled. You are my last reading, Aries, which is interesting because you are the first sign. So Aries is usually first, right? You you represent the springtime energy, the spring, the spring equinox. We had the summer solstice, June 21st. So that was really pivotal. A lot of shifts in energy, but it's extremely weird to be doing your reading last and to be ending with you because you are usually first. When that happens for me um, in readings for Aries, you know, you might not be feeling very put first. You might not be putting your own self first right now. So just be cautious of that. You may feel last. Uh, maybe that involves a certain amount of patience and waiting. Okay, so it's okay to go last, Aries. Take it from me as a Pisces, who is literally the last zodiac sign. So whenever I watch videos that are in order... You know, I wait until the end. I know some people fast forward, but um, when they're live and things like that, sometimes I'm hearing nice guys finish last and all that. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we have the Emperor card. That's your ruling card, Aries. And it also represents authority. It represents empires that you're running, bosses, managers, positions of power, male energy. Even if you're a female watching, it could be men in your life. Um, what's most important is the cards that have aligned underneath you. I just saw March 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. That's some of your birthdays, 26th, 27th, 28th, March, March dates, the end of March. Um, but what's important is how the cards have aligned under you after a significant amount of shuffling. I have not seen them. We're going to reveal them together, but basically there's some kind of an extra message and a story being told in the cards that you need to hear for some reason okay this could let me know more about the themes of energy surrounding you impact that kind of thing and then we're going to shuffle and get your reading okay but let's check this out we know the emperor card is you and yeah we have the seven of wands so immediately there's this energy kind of stand up right aries is given the pushback you guys are not playing around there's definitely some haters some negative energies beneath you they envy you they don't want you to win so the someone here is the king of the hill, but you you did not get that position in your life easily. You got there by fighting, by defending your territory. That's Mars energy. You are the god of war, right? So there's something here to defend. There's something here to fight off. You're persevering. You're not backing down. There's definitely this like defensive territorial energy. Now, what this is all about is this new spark of energy. Look at this fire, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's your energy. There's some kind of new spark of passion or energy or manifestation that you need to protect okay um some kind of newness this could be a sexual encounter someone here could be blocked okay we have the page of swords so there's something you want to know more about this attraction or this spark this excitement this newness this could be the sagittarius full moon 
that brought this in. I'm seeing July 1st though, because I see the seven and the one. Maybe even July 11th, because I see seven, one, one. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, that's one and one. And then seven. So the first week or so of July is important here. There's something, there's some spying going on. Maybe you want to know if someone has had sex with someone. You're on guard because you think someone has had sex with someone or someone feels that way about you. Um, there could be like some controlling energies here or there's just something going on to where Aries is not in the mood. They feel really like standoffish or stand upish, And it's because you guys need some kind of new spark or potential new flame. But you want to know more about this? I do see someone who wants to know if someone has had sex. Because the Page of Swords wants to know more. That's that Gemini energy of curiosity, studying, spying, learning. So someone could be spying on you, Aries, and you may not even know it because you're looking the other way, dealing with whatever this is. But there's an, someone here who potentially has their eye on you in a very, like, flamey way. We have a Pisces showing up here, Cancer, Scorpio, but love and romance in general. Moving forward in love and romance, but wanted to know more about this passion, wanted to know more about this love message. And then there's also some heartbreak here, a breakup, sorrow, loss, sadness, head over heart decisions, speaking from your heart. Maybe having heart to heart conversations after you gain certain details and facts. Someone here sees something. Like they're literally watching, whether it's you or someone else. You could be the watcher or you could be being watched. But someone here is watching a sexual a sexual encounter, a sexual act, or some kind of new spark of excitement. But it does look to be linked to romance and feelings. This could have caused a breakup. There could be third party. I see Leo here, sun, moon, or rising. Someone here, there may be a, a Leo breakup. We have a female Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, catty bitch energy. But confidence. Now, if you're a feminine inner Aries, it doesn't matter if you're a woman or man, but you, we've got some confidence here. Look at these two women. There could be two women in your life. We have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Definitely a female Leo here. So why hold yourself back because of heartbreak when you could be this bad bitch? When you could really like detach and make some really clear cut decisions of authority. Now, this could be an ex wife coming in here. Someone here could be married, and there's an other woman. I don't know if you feel that way or someone else, but there's like an indication here of a side chick and someone here is, is trying to tame a broken heart and hold themselves back. And you're strong enough to do this mentally and emotionally because what you think and what you feel may not be in harmony right now. Again, you may need to speak from your heart. You may need to make heart head over heart decisions about what's going on moving forward in love. Now, keep in mind, as an Aries, you're going through thoughts and communication, siblings, short distance travel. But then as we shift into cancer season after the 21st, this is home. This is family, you know. So there's some things changing there over the next six months. And that might be why you want to know more about how to get this excitement back. You might want to know more about romance. You have your eye on someone. They have their eye on you. Could be sexual encounters or just new passion, soulmate, love messages. But the first and foremost message is just like someone who's standing up for themselves. Someone who's not backing down. And that's definitely Aries vibes. I see August 21st, August 22nd may be important. I do believe that's Leo season or, or maybe Virgo. I think that's getting into Virgo season, if I'm not mistaken. No, the first card coming out is the death card. We have a Scorpio showing up. The moon is in Scorpio on the night that I'm recording this, but we have endings and beginnings here. Okay, we have transition, metamorphosis, that butterfly caterpillar scenario. So something's going on here. Maybe something actually changing, actually dying. Something actually starting, actually beginning. Okay, but there's a lot of change here in Scorpio energy, sun, moon, and rising. Scorpio is also ruled by Mars, like you, Aries. So maybe you have Scorpio energy in your chart, but there's something going on here. And we have the six of pentacles, some kind of giving energy, breadcrumb energy. You may put an end to something that doesn't give you enough. Person, place, or thing. Job, payment, money, um, family, friends, whatever it might be. There's an ending to something that has breadcrumbed you. There's an ending to some kind of charity. There is some kind of like, for someone out there, there could be like a death and then like something, somebody donating to help. Okay, because I did see a donation. I did see charity, so... There could be something going on there, but financial balance, equal give and take amongst those around you and yourself so that no one's giving or receiving more than those others involved. Okay, so there might be two people, places, or things that you need to take care of or that someone else needs to take care of. You're giving to most. Yeah, definitely, because we have the two of pentacles that just fell out. Same, same energy, financial balance, similar to Pisces, 
you're juggling a lot especially the first couple weeks of june the first couple days it's like some of you guys were carrying dead weight though meaning that there was something that you still found value in that was dead and over should have ended a long time ago two years ago two months ago but you're still juggling this priority even though you know it needs to change in some way okay there's two values here this could be money two hundred dollars two thousand dollars twenty dollars you know there needs to be an end or a transitional change to these multiple priorities. You're doing a great job managing all of these things, but I will tell you, you value one of these people, places, and things more than the other because of how you're holding these things. There's two things, people, places that are connected. It's causing a lot of ups and downs emotionally, but we have yet another aspect here of a juggling aspect that's ending. You've learned all you can from this. There's definitely something here about the past two years and what has ended with, within those past two years. Maybe the past two months, but I'm definitely getting years with this world because this is Saturn. This could be even be 20 years. Some of them might be 20 years old, give or take a few. Okay, um, but something here, like where were you around this time last year, 2022? Where were you around this time two years ago, if you can remember? Because there's cycles here. Saturn did go retrograde and I'm seeing November 12, 13, 14. So June 17th, Saturn went retrograde. We're all in like karmic reflection. A lot of us are really going to know whether we've graduated or not or whether we're getting held back. But yeah, there's something here about successfully juggling two things, even though one of them needs to change, end, or die. Or maybe there's some kind of new beginning that happened at the beginning of June to where you have to juggle, okay? We have the Empress here. Female Aries energy, Taurus, Libra, but Venus. Someone here may have Venus in Scorpio. Someone's mother here may be in Venus. Someone's mother here may be passed away or mother figures. But this is about beauty. Someone here may be pregnant or fertile, or maybe this is metaphorical for creation, birth. You're giving birth to something. We see death and rebirth here. And maybe that's the choice. Maybe that's what you value, the birth and the death, because that's what's going on. The Empress is mother life. So, yeah. There's something here about two different aspects of your life. One of them is abundant and growing in beauty, Venus energy. And then the other one is a little bit dead. And it's like interesting because you're holding that one higher. Now we have the Eight of Cups here. That full moon in Sagittarius may have been a walking away time period. Or maybe the full moon in Capricorn, July 3rd, is when you do some emotionally walking away. Maybe from the home and family. Maybe it's because you want to find fulfillment. But yeah, we have the Seven of Swords coming out. Mm. Lies and deception, okay, whether it's you or someone else, there's definitely some cheating, lying, stealing, okay, someone trying to get away with something and sneak off without being noticed. This is definitely going to take place in July, but I see something ending that was a lie. I see something ending and changing that was deceptive or taking from you. You may need to strategize how to end something, or maybe because everything has changed or everything's changing, you're coming up with new strategies, but we have the Ace of Cups. You may put an end to something deceptive to go for a new love or a new emotional beginning with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You are offering, someone's offering love to someone here. A lot of feelings flowing here, but a potential missed opportunity for someone you have an emotional connection with truly because we have two cups being offered here to someone who's very sensitive. You see the cup here, and then you see the cup in the Ace of Cups. It's the same cup, but you're really, like, not sure. Someone here needs to take several days, several whatevers, to really ground themselves emotionally to be mature and compassionate. Because someone here is being offered love and love and new love and new love, but maybe it would involve cheating, so you're rejecting it. Maybe you yourself feel rejected, Aries. But um, there's this water sign or this emotional person here. Maybe you just have an emotional connection, but look at all this water. There could be tears here or missed opportunities, rejection. Maybe you're not really sure whether to say yes or no to something because it's not exactly who, what, where, when, and why you thought it would be. It's not coming from where you thought. It's not from who you thought. Now we have a Libra. We have Scorpio, Sag. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Some of y'all just need to do some reevaluating and reflecting before you accept offers that are going to change how you feel even more. Some of you feel kind of bored and unsatisfied and you're really wanting that deep emotional connection of love and compassion. But first, there needs to be some kind of ending to a deception energy of this juggling. Don't let anyone steal from you or take from you, Aries. There needs to be good balance between equal give and take. But there's some sneaky deception going on here. Maybe you need to strategize how to put an end to something. You might not be sure. 
What else do we have for Aries, please? Sun, moon, and rising. Aries. And we have the sun. This may involve children. This may involve actual light, actual happiness. A Leo, perhaps. But your inner light, your inner child, your inner happiness. Joy, things getting brighter and better. Especially in terms of work, projects, hobbies, school, learning, becoming a master by August. Someone here is very happy working on a certain thing. Um, this may be an activity or a hobby, but... It makes you feel like a kid again, whatever it is. It makes you feel light and, and is it joviant? Is that a word? Joyful? So someone here, there's happiness at work. And then someone here gets a message about work or something's moving forward here. You may travel for work, but definitely 8-8. Eight, eight, so August 8th, something going on. Fast forward movement here. Maybe there's a text message you get at work and we literally have a text and a call. The judgment is a call. The, te the Eight of Wands is a text message. So a work text, a work phone call, a second opportunity to move forward at a certain project or job that you had in the past, but you feel kind of stuck. Okay, but there's something here about what you're meant to do as a higher calling, as a higher purpose, because that's what's coming full-fledged, full force, laser vision focus very fast. Like this resurrection, this second chance, this job from the past, or a second opportunity to do some kind of hobby or skill. You were happy doing it though or this is something coming in that came in, in june that came in in july this could be leo season after july 21st maybe that's when you really choose between these two things like what makes you the most money but we end the month or this reading ends this is the end of june for most of us all right conflict some of you guys are having conflict with women or conflict as women conflict with mother figures i see a mother and a child here and then we have Gemini Sagittarius hanging out right here. So that's literally that new moon, full moon that took place. There could be a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see Pisces sneaking out. Gemini moon, Sagittarius moon. So that tells me June 3rd and June 18th, that two-week period was important. There may be like a spontaneous choice here. Or maybe there's a third party like fuckboy Casanova type. Because I do see that as well. But you've got some choices to make. And you need to make them spontaneously. Now look at this knight um, excuse me the king of wands i just did the pisces reading right before you aries and they also got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck for their reading so this is definitely your energy whether you're male or female confidence waiting until leo season july 20th for some reason because that's really going to bring in that romance that creativity you're going to be feeling a lot more confident and then we have the full card so confident enough to leap confident enough to do something confident enough to express yourself and then we have Neptune retrograde at the very end of June. So there's going to be some stagnancy that comes in because you need to be enlightened. This combination right here, the hanged man and the, the fool, there's something that you could do that could really clear your slate and like start over. But there's some kind of like new point of view or seeing something from a different point of view, especially work. There might be some things that get stagnant with work or a project or something until August 8th. But we still have this text message, this choice, this focus, focus on your hobbies, your traits, your skills, school, learning, teaching. But we have um, a lover here, a soulmate, a divine connection, and it's happened kind of spontaneously. You didn't hear from this person for a while. There's choices, but like relationships, third parties moving forward. Someone here just trying, like maybe there's someone who texts you while you're at work or something. All right, but there's definitely going to be a change of perspective. Like things get fast, there's choices, there's relationship stuff, but then there's like this certain amount of energy and effort that needs to be put in, and then like stagnancy, change of viewpoint, uh, sacrifice. Okay, before you are confident enough to take a leap. So lots changing, especially when it comes to choices and juggling and managing multiple priorities, multiple responsibilities. There's something here about Venus. We have Venus and the sun. We have Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Libra, Taurus, perhaps. Venus and Leo, Venus and Scorpio. Venus is in Leo right now. But yes, yeah, something needs to end so that you're no longer juggling. You're truly abundant, truly creative, truly giving birth to something. But there needs to be an end to this deception at some point in July. I think you were going through it in June as well. I don't know if it's a, a straight up Scorpio that's involved in this, but someone's taking, stealing, lying, cheating, suspicious energy. And you may need to strategize after something ends, or maybe some of you guys are strategizing how to end something so that you could be happy and make this decision between these values here. But there's some internal conflict going on at the end of June. There's something that someone's fighting over, 
maybe like fighting like children bickering back and forth there's conflict competition i know you're here for it though aries because that's that's your type of thing like you guys are definitely here to, to prove a point sometimes and to be bold and that's exactly why this king of wands is here let's see if there's any other messages we have the two of wands so there's a choice before you the next couple months the next couple weeks you're gonna need to be confident about where you've been and where you're going who you are and who you're becoming what you're used to and something a little out of the ordinary of your comfort zone because you can't be comfortable and grow right sounds cliche absolutely true like where do you want to be 2024 2025 2026 where do you see yourself in the next three to four or five years in the next two years because you're going to need a certain level of confidence to leap into the very new beginning okay to really take a risk and start over a new chapter that you could actually be happy in to where you're no longer dealing with deception or juggling or conflict or battling okay so there's something going on here and then i think it's really important to wait on leo season for something okay so aries that is what i have for you if this resonated and you would like a personal reading i do offer those on cash app check my description box out for how to connect with me social media email and we can set that up but if not, maybe maybe any feedback that you have for me, likes, comments, shares, whatever, it will be greatly appreciated. And if not, I will connect to you in a future reading, hopefully. Bye. Oops. <laughs>